Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this short tutorial series about GD inside PHP, we're going to be talking about what GD is and we're going to be doing a variety of things with GD and it's called the GD library. Um, it doesn't actually come with PHP by default so it's a library that you have to either install yourself or because we're using the uh, XAMPP package um, as shown in my previous tutorials how to install it in Windows GD will already come uh, pre-installed with this and what we do is we use PHP uh, directly um, and using G this GD library um, what we can actually do is we can generate and we can also modify graphics so let's take an example um, and just speak about an example of what what you, how you might find GD useful now you may have seen uh, websites that allow you to upload images or um, or groups of images so multiple images and you may find that these are watermarked I know eBay when you upload an image it creates a little watermark in the bottom right hand corner which sort of you know gives the image some kind of um, relation to the website and this doesn't have to be a translucent watermarked image it can in fact be uh, some text so you can generate text with GD uh, you can also um, watermark another image over um, over an image so there's a variety of things that you can do with the GD library now another example maybe you may have seen registration forms that ask you to enter some um, distorted characters or blurred out or stretched characters and you'll obviously know this is for security purposes now why do we do this we use um, we use uh, what's called a capture form um, or capture um, image if you like to allow only human based registrations or submission of data through a form so for example if you have a form and you want to the, the data to be submitted but not submitted in mass we use something called a capture uh, image um, or a security image really um, that is only human readable or, or most of the time sort of 90 plus percent of the time is human readable so the the uh, distorted text um, has to be just has to be um, read and then input into another box by a user for the form to you know or for the user of the website or for the owner of the website to be satisfied that only humans can register with this form um, then obviously if the incorrect image is entered or the text from the image is entered then uh, it's asked to be done again so this prevents automatic submission of data through forms now another way to use GHD which is a less commonly used method but a really interesting uh, good way to use um, the GD library um, and by the way capture forms or uh, security images if you like are not always used with GD so there's a variety of ways you can do this but in my future tutorials um, that you may watch uh, you'll see that we deal with creating our own capture image using GD so we're going to be using GD to create our own and not allow a uh, form to be submitted unless um, this image is correct so now another use like I said is less commonly used but a really really great great way to go about things is let's say I registered on a website and I was to output my email address so this might be anything uh, at anything.com now my email address let's say we output um, on my profile page now if my email address is in text form so it's in text form that can be picked up by say uh, a robot for example that's been programmed to go through websites and pick up um, web uh, pick up um, email addresses so you'll see some people choose to write their email address like this uh, sorry like this um, or they might do uh, something like dot there and then at there in brackets as well uh, vice versa using different symbols uh, this is just simply for security purposes that they do this 
However, a great way to store an email address when displaying it in a profile page um, to enhance the security of this so email addresses can't be collected in mass. Um, this gives sort of peace of mind to your users if you store it in an image form. So what we can do is we can store this um, exactly as text so it can be text but we store it as an image so it can't be easily picked up by these bots now I'm not saying it can't be picked up at all of course it can because the point of capture forms being distorted is so it's hard for a uh, bot to read or a, uh, a computer program if you like to read but just by adding this into an image which is quite a simple process using GD just gives that added security so it's a lot more secure to store text as image if you don't want it to be automatically picked up by a piece of software that might be trailing through websites trying to collect specific information. So the GD library, like I said, uh, is really useful for mainly these three things. It could, you can obviously use it for a, a variety of purposes. It can... Um, it can take images and change them, we can change colors, we can change anything really. We're not going to go into the complexities of these things because there are loads and loads and loads of functions used within um, GD. It's a massive, massive library with lots of functions and lots of ways to do this. So I'm just going to give you sort of an introduction. We're going to use these three examples. We're going to change uh, some text like this, so an email address, into um, an image. We're also going to be looking at watermarking images um, as we upload them or just or just looking at a function to walk, watermark images so you can combine this with an upload script. And we're also going to look at creating our own capture form. So that's basically the GD library and what it's used for. If you um, are using it, if you're having trouble using it, so if the functions that you're giving that we're going to look at in other tutorials aren't working, I suggest you go and Google for GD, have a look at downloading it and installing it, but otherwise I'd highly recommend you use it pre-installed on a package such as XAMPP like I'm using, uh, and then it will already be there for you installed and uh, it will be available to use.